Hi there, my name is Eric and I play bass and today we're gonna check out not one, not two, but five pedals from Suncoast Analog. Before we get started with this video, Suncoast were kind enough to send these fine pedals to me, so you can consider this a sponsored video. However, all thoughts and opinions voiced in this video are entirely my own. So a few months back, Jim from Suncoast sent me a picture of his a small pedals pedalboard setup that looked uh, very much like this and I got very intrigued by it and uh, thought it would be really cool to check out so he was kind enough to send me the pedals that I was uh, missing essentially so here we go with that um, this is a pretty cool and fun setup if I may say so myself uh, and it's pretty darn versatile if you want to get you know, you can get everything from a nice and mellow and a really clean tone. That still has a bit of dirt to it, to you know, the screaming uh, HD1 distortion. With this board which is really nice and cool and awesome and all of that good stuff and um, before we get go any further uh, I've got a separate video on the HD one and the LM one available here on my channel I'll have links up here for those uh, two videos if you want to check those out um, I've had those two pedals for about a year or so now and the LM1 never leaves my pedal board. I never leave home without it. It's a great limiter uh, that has that awesome Pierce magic to it. Uh, and if you don't know Pierce Electronics, I highly suggest that you uh, pause this video and go and Google uh, and do some research because yeah, it's cool. Um, in this video, I'm running my Fender Parts P-Bass. Uh, with the Relentless P pickup, uh, I'm only running that pickup into this board. Um, I'm running into the board and into the effects return of the EBS Raidmar 750 or 750. Uh, and I'm running that into the EBS Classic 212 cabinet, mic'd with a Shure SM7B into uh, my solid state Logic SSL2 Plus and into Logic and no post-processing and that sounds like this. Which you've heard already. Um, so this board is a really nice and fun board if I may say so myself. It's powered by the Strymon uh, R300 um, power supply. And uh, yeah, let's get started with this board and I'll break it down to you in, in, in details, so to speak. So this board starts off with the L4 compressor. If you are new to compressors or if you're scared by compressors as a bass player, which I mean, it's all right. We're all new at some point. This is a really nice and uh, cool way to start. You've got uh, four knobs. You can adjust the attack the release, the threshold, and you can also adjust the input gain. And you've got a nice and handy uh, light that lights up every time the compressor kicks in. So I've got it set for a pretty slow attack, about, oh, I don't know, eight milliseconds, and a really quick release, pretty much the quick, no, 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 almost the quickest release that I can go for. And the threshold is at around, oh, I don't know, minus, uh, minus 7D, perhaps. Um, so the attack determines how quickly the compressor will uh, grab a hold of the note. The release determines how quickly it will let go. Uh, the threshold determines where on the uh, decibel scale the compressor will kick in. And yeah, here's my tone with the compressor. Here's without it. Here's a sustained note with it. Wow. 
without it. So yeah, let's uh, let's uh, you know uh, fool around with the knobs, shall we? Let's uh, lower the attack. To the max here. Let's do like this. And as you can see now, it only activates when I hit it really hard. If I do like that, an extreme version. with the input gain, shall we? As you can see, I can now... Something like that. Uh, L4 compressor, like I said. What's nice about this, uh, I guess, is that you don't have, you know, you can't mess up the ratio and all of that good stuff that some compressors allow you to do. You can adjust the attack, the release, and the threshold. And that's about it. And uh, you can get pretty far with it. That's nice. Next up, we've got the HD1 harmonic driver, um, which is just an awesome drive pedal. You've got the green channel, which is um, the input preamp of the BC1 uh, green channel. And you've got the red channel, which is the G1, so. And that's where the magic happens. So I can just sit and uh, uh, have fun with that pedal all day. Uh, but we got a separate video on that one, so go and check that out if you're more interested in the HD one. Um, I'm running the HD1 into the L5 multi-filter, so here is where it gets tasty. Uh, let's turn that one off for a second, shall we? Here's without the L5. Here's without the L5. Here's with it. So the L5 acts pretty much like a you know a presence control. Uh, it adds a bit of uh, bite and spank to the tone. Here is without the HD1, and uh, let's go between bypassing and engaging the L5 here. So here's without the HD1. Here's without the L5. 
So the L5 has an output level. You've got a bright switch. Here's what that one does. Here's without it. Here's with it. Um, on the L5, like I said, you've got the output level. You've got a multi, multi filter. Um, so I'm just gonna go play the G string and uh, turn that knob. So the actual EQ points for the multi-filter and whatnot are available on the Sound Coast homepage. I don't want to go into detail about that and make a bigger fool out of myself than I already do. Uh, joking as jokes aside, um, let's try and engage the HD1 and uh, sweep the multi-filter, shall we? And let's engage the bright switch as well and uh, turn that knob. So yeah, really cool um, pedal there. You've also got an input drive, so... Let's uh, turn that knob also, shall we? So just using that one you can actually get some... Uh... So just using the input drive you can really get some nice growl out of your tone if you want that and you can pair it with the output level as well. So yeah. Really cool pedal to bring out the bite of the HD1 uh, and you know give it some more presence and um, aggression if you will. Next up we're going into the TR3B triple band EQ. Um, this one is available in a few different iterations if you will. Um, I can't remember for the life of me which one this is. It will say in the uh, chapter description which one I've got. Um, I, I have it on the tip of my tongue right now and I can't remember for the life of me. So uh, let's leave that be and go through this fine EQ pedal. Uh, gonna bypass the HD one now. So this one, here's with it. Here's without it. So as you can hear quite a big difference there. You've got bass on this one. You've got an adjustable mid-range. You've got a 1K, 250 and 500 Hertz. So here's uh, 1K, just playing the G-string and sweeping through it. Fifty. 
and 500. You've also got a peak and shelf uh, knob here, so 1K and a shell now. and 500. And I like to keep it at around 1k and just bump the mids slightly. Uh, you've also got a treble control. So I'm using to trim away some of the harshness. So here's what the TR3B is doing with the HD1. And last but not least, we got the LM1 dynamic limiter. So, this one, really straightforward and simple limiter that never leaves my pedal board, uh, actually. So this one uh, goes between my boards quite a lot. Um, really nice and awesome pedal. Here's without it. This is like hitting a brick wall of um, awesomeness uh, using that pedal. Um, got a separate video or like two separate videos on that pedal available here on my channel. So if you're interested in the LM1 more, go and check that out. And yeah, that does it for this nice and tiny Suncoast analog board. Um, this is a really fun setup to use, I must say. You know, you can really get a variety of different um, bass drives with this. You've got the, you know, the... <laughs> distortion with this one. But you can also, you know, dial it down a bit. You can, of course, scoop your mids if you want to. Um, I mean, the options are limitless, kids. And uh, yeah, really fun and tiny and cool setup this board, I must say. Um, like I've said uh, countless times now in this video, the LM1 is one of my all-time favorite pedals. It never leaves uh, the pedal boards that I'm using. Um, the L4, really nice and straightforward compressor that, uh, you know, if you're 
a bit afraid of compression, you should probably try that one out because it's really simple and straightforward. The HD1 harmonic driver, what can I say? Uh, the purest drive in a box. The L5, great multi-filter, great way to bring out some bite to your tone. And the uh, TR3B a triple band EQ, uh, really cool EQ pedal. And you know, this really makes for a nice and cool bass tone, if I may say so myself. Uh, if I were to use this board live, I would probably add a tuner and perhaps a noise gate to get away from this uh, hiss that you get from using this much uh, distortion, you know, bypassing the HD1 and you're pretty much good to go. So yeah, there you have it. Five small and awesome pedals from Suncoast Analog. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. My name is Eric and I play bass and I'll see you guys and gals and cats and dogs in the next video. Until next time, take care. Bye.